Good morning. Uh, it's April 28th, about 8 a.m. 55 degrees, I think. So it cooled off a little bit this week. We've had a lot of wind and I haven't had a chance to sweep any of my patios. Some aloe blooming. Um, I'm just plodding along. Our plant sale is this weekend and I'll be so happy to get to that point. It takes me about an hour to um, water all the plants that I have for the sale. So it takes up time I'm ready to devote to my own yard as well as some of the workshops that we've had to get our compound ready to go and um, picking up donations of plants from people it's a lot um, so my I'm not using that as an excuse uh, I love working for the garden club so it's just that I'm seeing a lot of things around here that I'm neglecting right now um, and there's all the plants that I'm getting ready to, um, find homes for. This little cactus dahlia bloomed, and I was going to pinch it off, and then I thought, well, blooms sell more than stuff that doesn't bloom. In fact, there's more than one. There's this one back here that I think is the Sunny Reggae. Plant. You can't see it because of the sun. Sunny Regay Dahlia. And so I have a, I think I brought my geraniums back. There's one leaf there that's still kind of bad, but a lot of them have perked back up. What I did is I buried them too deep. And now that I've got them out of the popped back out of the soil they're um they're recovering yay so my biggest mistake that i hope i remember to watch for next year is i planted my seeds too early i don't have pots bigger than this for and i don't actually i do i have gallon pots but i don't want to pot them up i want people to get these plants for two or three dollars at the most and um, when we go to a gallon plant we like to put a five dollar and I just don't think I want to do that that's so I'm trying to keep them in the smaller pots even though it causes me to water them more often so I planted a, a Luna hibiscus there, and I planted one up in a Vigo bed. I think the second one in from the wall there where the the red roses are. That's the third, and then the one that's next to it, I think, is a Luna hibiscus is where I planted it. So I'm um, looking to see how that goes. Um, Let's see, my husband fertilized everything last night, so that's kind of cool. It's kind of crisp out here this morning. So here's what I'm going to do. I showed over there that I put the Fortnite Lily in that pot where I used to have this, um, purple fountain grass so I put that in this pot I want to set up like a portable garden thing we have a um, planters that we do for the fairgrounds and I want to be able to grab a plant these are laying all a kilter because of the wind that we had but I want to grab a pot and be able to go stick it in one of the planter boxes. And I think the best way to do that is to just have this area devoted. It's 
it's got drip there so I'm gonna set up drip between some of the flowers and um, then just fill all these pots with things that I can swap out for the um, fairgrounds so I cut the sago um, it had quite a few low fronds and uh, I went to town on that plant and this one trying to um, limb them up a little bit or frond, take, defrond them <laughs> and um, make them a little less lethal because those sagos can hurt. I got hurt several times by them and um, yeah I'm just kind of cleaning up this bed right now a little bit. I, that's the other thing that I did. I I trimmed the um, alyssum that was in here so you could actually see the boxwood a little bit better. I'm really pleased with all the poppies I got. And I probably should take that alyssum off too. And I will soon. But. That purple antenna's come to life. There's a red one next to it, but they always take longer to come out. These plants are still doing good. I have English daisies in here, which I just have my fingers crossed are gonna be okay. I think I'm gonna take that Livingston daisy out, but looks rather horrible. I, I think that's what I'm going to do in this bed over here too. There's some Livingston daisies and they um, kind of did their thing and now I'm just going to cut them down and see if they'll come back or what happens. I pulled the petunia that was in here and then I've been trying to baby this a little bit because this euphorbia I think was getting too much water. So I don't even know why it's spotted there. But I have to look that up. But I have two euphorbias to put in there. I didn't want to put both euphorbias in there. I wanted one on each end. And um, I still might do something like that because I have a concrete pot that gets a lot of heat. And I'm thinking the euphorbia would work the best in there. As I get a little bit smarter, maybe or maybe not. Eggplants are doing well, except something's eaten this one. I don't know what it is. I checked the leaves a couple of times. The basil is doing good, the cinnamon basil. This clematis, I'm gonna say clamat clematis, is still alive, but just barely. This one's doing okay. I don't think this is the appropriate location for him, probably. I'm gonna try him again, though, this year there. I tried him last year and it died, so we'll see. I trimmed back the gerrymander, is what that is. Uh, it still looks scraggly because I was just trying to trim it back enough that I could get rid of some of the dead palm fronds that were at the bottom of it and uh, I know it still looks really wild. I'm going to clean it up quite a bit more. These tomatoes are all looking good and believe me we've had really quite heavy winds. We've had like 39 mile per hour gusts so it's not pretty. This is getting its seed pod now. The flower is turning into a seed pod. I love these things and they look so pretty dried. So that'll be fun. I pulled the bearded iris, I killed it accidentally. So I pulled it out. I'm gonna plant probably the autumn sage in there. It seems to like being Um, let's see, all of my 
Oh, I need to, that's the one I think. I need to go and pick all of my chamomile blossoms, flowers, so that they produce more. So I still need to do that. I was gonna, I think I had some tomatoes on here. Maybe not. Maybe it was my imagination. No, here's one. So that's kind of cool. And this is my, so let's see how, this is a 4th of July, so it should be one of my earlier ones. And there's a lot of fungus gnats or something on them that I'm gonna go around and see if I can get that to come off. I have only gotten one zucchini in this bed to germinate, that one. So I'm gonna plant some more, see what happens. I had them in the four corners and then I planted um, a zucchini here just this last week. So we shall see. These zucchini up here are bouncing back a little bit better. I mean, they don't look great, but they're coming along. And then the, um, oh, look at my little lizard. Actually, it's fairly big. Maybe it's a gecko. I don't know what they call those. But, um, I'm trying to, um, I've got some stuff that's germinating up along the trellises, so I'll be happy with that. These guys did decent with the wind that we had. Um, I did have a little bit of wind damage, but I was surprised at how little wind damage. I've had worse wind damage in cages, so Maybe it's the right way to go here, desert gardening. Um, the last thing I'm gonna do is go through, I, oh, I planted um, these um, Ruby Moon's hyacinth beans. That's what those are. I planted some of those early in the house and they were beautiful, but I couldn't put them out in the yard because they it was too cold for them. And I'm gonna start taking the little um, cloches off of the plants that have them because they don't need them anymore. Although I think they were protected from the wind that way. The okra are looking better. There's a little teeny one there and here's one I want to plant a couple a few more oh there's one too and then I've decided I might put some oh I got a big dandelion there I might put some um, herbs in these pots I I'm not really needing flower well they'll get flowers like time will but i was just thinking it might be nice to have all that in the garden so i lost another pepper so anywhere where i've lost a pepper i'm looking at replacing it with the pepper stash i still have before this plant sale so I'm not giving everything, I, well, I'm giving less and less as I plant stuff out and things don't make it. I got a hyacinth, ruby moon hyacinth to come up there and there. So I've got three of the four obelisks that something's come up. This one, nothing's come up yet. So I think I'll probably stick another bean in there today. I planted out that tomato plant, not really wanting it to put it in this bed. It's a tropical sunset cherry, but it was so big. I had 
I would have had to up pot it. It was falling over constantly because it's getting top heavy. And I had nothing to up pot it to except a gallon because I buried that and cut off a bunch of branches. So there's probably more underground than there is above ground for that tomato. And um, because it was so big, I thought I'm just gonna plant it out even though I would have liked to have sold it. Um, originally, we were supposed to have our plant sale in April and then they moved it out and that's what's kind of caused me some stress and anxiety getting stuff ready. Here I planted some um, ground cherries and I think I showed that last week. Nothing's come up yet. These ground cherries are still looking good which is amazing because um, it was windy and they didn't have any more staking done than they have right there. Same with those tomato plants but they're pretty well tied to those stakes. These are not tied to anything. Um, I came over here and I pulled all the alyssum and left just the stuff that was reseeding. And then I had a gazania over on this side that was crowding out this chocolate plant, chocolate flower plant. So I moved it over to this side only because there was a, a nice area of moisture right there. And then I was looking, I accidentally pulled up my bunny tails. I saw this grass and go, oh, I need to take that grass out. Well, it was bunny tails. So that's bunny tails too. So I shouldn't have pulled it up. So I stuck it back in the ground. We'll see if it makes it. This is Salpaglossus. It's a beautiful flower. And one of the branches came off of it. See, all of these have these little black things and I don't know if that's bugs or if it's the soil that's blown up on it. So what I'm gonna do is probably take and spray them with water and see if I can get that off of there. We'll see what happens. And then this is my sage coming back. This Blue Monday sage is coming back. My wormwood didn't make it. And I planted a parsley back in here and it's doing okay. I didn't want to up pot it so I stuck it in the ground and it's been in there for over a month so it's looking pretty good. So we are getting ready to do our dirt locker soon. Um, that'll be after the plant sale. We bought a bunch of pavers. Oh, I wanted to show I've got, I've got lots of strawberries. I need to pick some. I'm going to come out and do that. I think there's some on the other side too. Anyway, I bought pavers for a quarter a piece. And I bought 144 of them. So they're going to be the stepping stones to the dirt locker up there. I think we've decided we'd have about four pathways that we could walk on up there. I did get the oleanders up there fertilized with 10, 10, 10. Um, so there's some progress that's been made. But my, the majority of my work this last week has been somewhere else. So it'll be fun when I can really get involved here too. And I really like the idea of starting a little portable garden area to take plants wherever I need to take them. So... We've been taking out the soaker tube in the bottom here because of the alkali that builds up on it and replacing it. So that's the old soaker tube I 
I'm just, that's a slow process too. We don't like to be on our knees as much anymore. Oh, I'll show my snapdragons. Oh, this is the other thing I did. I got all my Tiny Tim tomatoes planted in there. So that, those three levels have Tiny Tim tomatoes. Um, and then I think I've got one more, this one, that I'm gonna put basil. I, I was gonna do pot of pinos, but they're dying like crazy. So whichever pot of pinos last, I'll put those in with some basil and I'll probably just have four, four tiers. And so my tomatoes are starting to droop. It must be time for watering. So these are all going out and see, you can tell I'm losing some. Um, those are black Hungarian peppers. So anyway, those are some of the basil that I have that I'm got plenty, plenty of basil to fill up a tear. And let's see. Oh, I went and picked up some donations from some neighbors that wanted to give plants for the plant sale. So I've had to do stuff with those. I think I mentioned that already though. Looks like it's going to be a gorgeous day. That's my garden diary.